Hi again. Um, today we're going to be doing a look. that's this, and it's inspired by Elena from the Vampire Diaries. Um, now I don't actually watch the Vampire Diaries. This is a requested look, requested by Avril K. A. Grotashar and Simandi. And um, they asked me to do a look inspired by Elena. Um, one of them sent me some pictures, which I've taken inspiration from. I haven't like directly copied one of the pictures, um, just because I get the feeling of what her general looks are like browns and um, like neutral matte colours so let's crack on um, already primer, uh, I've already applied my primer Urban Decay Primer Potion all over the lid so then we're going to take a round ended brush like this one not a huge one and we're going to use the 120 palette and we're going to take the this bottom layer because it has all the browns here and we're going to take this light brown right here as a base. Now, whatever you do, don't put too much on because I actually, this is my second attempt at recording this video, I put too much on the first time and when it blended it went to like a coppery colour rather than a nice brown, so. This is literally just a base, we're going to work on top of this. There's a mobile ringing, it's not mine. Sorry about that. And just bring it. <laughs> can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it on the video. Just bring this slightly above the crease. like that okay perfect right the next thing we're going to do is for the rest of the look we're just going to use this blending brush here um, and we're going to take right in the corner here this brown it doesn't look that dark on the camera but we don't want it to be like stark and d stark and dark you know so just take a generous amount on that brush and we're going to start blending it into the crease we're going to work into the crease Now it's going that coppery colour again, so I'm just going to try and think how to fix this. Okay, what I've done just to even out the coppery tone is just take this brown here and just apply it a little bit when it starts to go a little bit coppery. Maybe apply that brown first actually, just to uh, even out the copper tones, just in the crease to start with. Then take the brown at the end, and what we're going to do is start to blend upwards. Um, keep a makeup wipe handy in case you go a bit too far up or something. Okay, and then what we're going to do is when you've blended it upwards, we're going to take the brown at the end here and we're going to take some on the blending brush again and blend downwards into the lighter brown. If you think it's looking a bit coppery, take some of the this brown again and just try to even that out. Use a makeup wipe to make any adjustments. Then we're going to take a flat ended brush. Take the light brown, first of all. And what we're going to do is just apply that 
under the eye to about halfway. Then take the darker brown at the end and apply and just match up here. Then what we're going to do is take an eyeliner, Benefit Bad Girl I have, and what we're going to do is I actually recently found out that the technique of taking the eyeliner into the upper waterline and just kind of like getting in between the lashes I can't remember what the technique's called but it makes your eyelashes like it makes your eyes seem wider so that's just on the top waterline then take a mascara I'm using the Maybelline Falsies one again um, just because my other one's nearly run out so completely coat the top lashes and then the bottom ones too okay what we're then going to do for the last step is just take a makeup wipe and just make a point with your finger and then gently run along the bottom waterline just to make sure that it's as clean as possible and that is it that's my um, Elena from the Vampire Diaries inspired makeup look browns matte really pretty um i hope you've enjoyed this and um i will put some pictures at the end so um yeah have fun with it and i'll see you later